Hi everybody, this is Mirav and this is an overview of iJoomla SEO. Let's start with some of the features that we have here on the left and then we'll go back to this feature over here. We'll start with keywords. Basically this is our keywords manager and you can see all the keywords that you specified on your title meta tag or on your keywords meta tag showed here and you can see how they're doing on Google, what number they are, obviously sorted by uh, by rank so now it's showing all the number ones on top and you can see if it's up or down some keywords you'll see a, a green arrow next to it which means it's up and you can see how much is up since the last time we checked or you can see a, a, a red arrow pointing down and it's that means it's going down you can also mark some keywords as sticky so that you can find all the important keywords very easily This is how your uh, Keywords Manager looks like when you uh, show only the sticky keywords. You see, as you can see, it's a much smaller uh, list and you can manage it easily. And you can see if it's again going up or down or what's going on with that. You can go to Google and see the keyword there. Let's take a look at, for example, free Joomla icons. If you click on go to Google, view it on Google, you can see it here at number four, like it says. But you can see that there are other sites on top of that. So if you if this keyword is really important to you, you, you might want to go and see what these sites are doing better that makes them come up higher and make uh, changes to your own uh, meta tags to improve it. Another thing that you could do is you can go and see where this keyword is showing up on which article. For example, this keyword right here it's showing on three articles and you can go ahead and open each of these articles and edit the meta tags so that you can opti optimize it even further it's just a very convenient way to optimize your meta tags as well as your uh, content of the article to improve it we moved on to the next important feature which is the uh, meta tags and in meta tags, what you can do is manage all the meta tags of your site in one place. So that will save you like 95% of the time that it would take you uh, normally. Because you don't have to go and open each article and close it and put the keywords there and open again. It's just, it's too cumbersome. This is just a great way to manage everything in one place. You can also automatically populate the description meta tag by clicking generate description and you can very quickly automate the title and the keywords meta tag by moving uh, from keywords to meta tag, from title meta tag to keywords meta tag. Use any of those buttons to make your uh, work much faster. And we also support other things, not just articles. We support menu items, Mosset Tree, Sobi, Magazine, Digistore, News Portal, and K2 extensions. So you can manage the meta tags of all these extensions right here you don't have to go to the extension open it and open every item and edit it let's move on to the next feature our next feature is internal links or automatic linking basically what it means is that you can set a word or a keyword that will automatically link to a page inside your site or even outside your site if you want to so for example every time the word SEO shows up on our site it will link we want it to link to a certain page maybe our SEO page let's see how it looks like on the front end you see that every time the word SEO shows up it links to where we want it to link in our case it's to our uh, SEO homepage and you can do this with the uh, menu items you can link to menu items you can link to certain articles and you can also link outside the site to somewhere else maybe to a different site that you have or a site that you want to promote maybe you want to add an affiliate code uh, so that uh, every time the word shows up they link on it and you make money out of it the possibilities are endless here and you can make uh, you can do a lot with this uh, feature just uh, use your imagination a little bit 
Our next feature is iJoomla redirects, which means what it is, is that you, instead of linking directly to a page that is outside your site, which is really not good for search engine optimization, because you don't want to link too much outside your site, then you create a redirect link, and instead of uh, linking to that page directly, you use this code over here, this, uh, this URL, and it will link it, but without going directly, which means your site is not going to bleed uh, the PR that your site already uh, has. So that's a great little feature, and you can use that uh, very quickly, and also it will monitor how many times it was uh, clicked on. So this way you have a clue about what's going on, and what people are clicking on your site, and you can also, there's a little... Uh, plugin as well that you can use to just enter this tag on your page and it will create this uh, redirected link. The next important feature is Pages Manager. Basically it will show you all the pages on your site and then it will show which keywords you optimize it for. So all the keywords you entered in the title meta tag or the keywords meta tag, you can see them right here and you can see how many times this keyword shows up in the content. If it's, it's, if it's zero, like here, this is bad, you know, we have to open it and add the keyword a few times, at least four or five times inside the content so that it will be more effective. So once you find that, that this is only, you know, zero, you want to change it. So you go here to edit and you can see a pop-up here that will show you the meta tags of this uh, content item. And you can easily add the keyword right here inside. Alright, so that's a very quick way to find out what's going on with every page on your site and then fix the problem. Also, you'll see here uh, outgoing links. If you have too many links outgoing, you might want to change that. Uh, you you want to make it uh, as minimum as possible. And also, you can create those redirects we just talked about so that the outgoing links won't be directed uh, directly taken to the site that you want to link to. Okay, so now that we talked about all these other features, we can go back to the stats so that I can explain what's going on here. Basically, it will show you a list of all the keywords that have gone up or down so that you can link on them directly and you can manage it. You can see what's going on, exactly which keywords are down or up. You can see which keywords are without a change and you can see also all your sticky keywords. Another thing you can do is to manage your meta tags easily. You can see which meta tags are missing a title meta tag and which are missing keywords meta tag and description meta tag. And you can do this as well with all the different extensions we support. So if you change it, it will change all the stats here. The last thing I want to talk to you about is the configuration page. This basically uh, allows you to manage uh, a lot of things about a Joomla SEO. For example, this top part allows you to change uh, or to add every time the, the class comp component heading shows up, uh, add an H1 to it because you want to have an H1 tag on the titles of your articles and it's not being done by Joomla by default right now. So this allows you to edit very easily. Just, just uh, enter the name of the class here and specify which heading you want to replace it with and you're done. If you want to wrap certain keywords with the bold, uh, bold or underline automatically, you can do that here. So let's say that the, your, your keyword is Joomla and so every time the Joomla word shows up, you can wrap it with, uh, with a strong or with a bold uh, or with an underline uh, tag automatically and this is also very good for search engine optimization because uh, Google sees uh, words that are bold or underlined or strong in a different way it makes it look more makes them look more important to Google uh, here is a very also a very useful uh, feature basically all the images that you have on the site should have an alt tag, but sometimes you forget or you, you're too lazy to do it. I know I am. So what you do is you basically allows it to do it automatically for you so that the images will have an alt tag, which is the keyword, the first or the second or the third keywords of your um, of that article. And it will do it automatically. It will put the alt tag on the image automatically. And the last part here is about the keywords. Uh, how, how often do you want Google to, to check with Google about the frequency 
that what's the frequency you want to check on Google the rank of your keywords right here you can specify that if you want it to be manually or automatically and also what is the where are you taking the keywords that you see on the keywords the manager is it taking it from the title meta tag on the keywords meta tag it, I recommend to take it from the title meta tag because it's much more relevant so this is it as you can see this is a very comprehensive tool for managing your search engine optimization it will save you tons of time it will uh, give you a clue about what's going on with all your keywords and that will give you a real advantage over your competition so I hope you give it a try thanks for watching